Welcome and thank you for creating a GCSC Canvas Parent Observer account. We are very excited that you are following your student in Canvas, and this video will show you how to use Canvas if you are using a desktop or a laptop computer. If you prefer to use the Canvas Parent app for either Android or iOS, please follow the appropriate links in Canvas Parent University to learn more about that operation. But again, this is for a computer only, for a desktop or a laptop computer. You can see that I've logged in, in this case, to my sample parent account, and I land at something called the dashboard, and I know that because it's highlighted right here, and I also see these little tiles for each of the courses that I am following. A quick tour of some of the items in the left, this is the global navigation. The account button allows you to see the settings for your account, but also to see who you are observing. We're going to take a deeper dive in dashboard. Courses shows all the courses in which my students are enrolled, and I can click on those in a list form instead of in the thumbnail form right here. Calendar, we will take a deeper dive in shortly, as well with inbox. History simply shows where I've been recently. In this case, I don't have any recent history because I just logged in, uh, but I can click on previous places that I have recently viewed right here, and then the help menu allows me to access something called the Canvas Guides, where I can get quick answers to my questions. Once you're familiar with the global navigation, it's important to know your way around the dashboard. So here on the dashboard, Again, I can see the courses. I also see the option to toggle to the calendar, and that is the same as clicking the calendar over here, and we will discuss that in just a moment. I see any assignments that are coming up for my students that are due. Again, assuming the teacher has put due dates in for those, that's how you will see them. If the teacher has not put due dates in, and sometimes there's a valid reason for doing that, they won't show up in the coming up section. Probably the most important option for you here is the view grades option. If I select view grades, I can see all the courses in which my student is enrolled. So if I click on Mrs. Hill's class right here, this test student is just an example student and they don't have any grades, but we can get an idea for what this looks like. So if I click here, I can see all of the grades for this class. Now in this case, in this case, excuse me, there are a lot of them, but if I scroll down, uh, I can see the grades that are most recent. So there are the items that are going to be due this Friday. And I can click on that assignment and I can learn more about it. If there's a big red missing, it tells me the assignment is missing. But let's say that I want to know what this 207 Wonders workbook is all about. I can click on that and I can see that my student has not submitted that. So obviously I know there's no submission for that. It's really easy for me to check and see what my student has or has not done. Now that does take me inside of the course. So at this point I have two choices. I can click dashboard and navigate back to the dashboard and see those tiles again. Or if I want to explore Mrs. Hill's class, I can select home. And I now see Mrs. Hill's class mostly as a student sees it. Obviously my, uh, my options are reduced as a parent, but I do see it mostly as a student sees it. So I see the assignments that are coming up and I have the ability to uh, view any notifications that may be set and I can navigate through the course. So if, if I want to click on modules, I can see what modules are available for the week. So again, looking at today, the 8th, I can see what Mrs. Hill has done for the students. And if I want to see what this very first assignment is that the students had to do today, I simply click on that and I can see exactly what the students see. At any point, I can navigate back to home and I'm back on the homepage for Mrs. Hill's class. And then at any point after that, of course, I can navigate back to dashboard on the left side right here in the global navigation. That takes me back to all courses. So that is a quick tour of the dashboard and how to access grades and then how the grades take you inside of the course. So that view grades button is very important when you are using Canvas through a desktop or a laptop computer. Let's just take a look at a course. Let's say that I would rather enter through the course. If I click on the tile right here, it takes me back to exactly where I was. So you're already familiar with this. We can now jump back to the dashboard. Once you navigate back there, if you click on either the view calendar right here, or a calendar right here, it will take you into the calendar for all of your Canvas courses. And on the right side, you can see right here, if I turn off a course, or Mrs. Hill's class, for example, it turns off that course. If I want to focus in on one or two courses, I can do that. But from this space right here, I see all the assignments and when they're due. Again, assuming the teacher has put the due date, sometimes teachers won't do that, then there are valid reasons for doing that. But let's say that I want to see this, um, this choice research right here, if I click there, I can now click on choice research as a parent and it will show me what the student has to complete. And again, I'm now inside the course so I can either navigate back to home or I can navigate back to dashboard or I can navigate back to calendar as the case may be. So let's just go back to the dashboard because that's kind of where we start from and we try to end from as well. The last place I'd like to take a deeper dive is the inbox. The inbox right here provides me with a way to securely and quickly and accurately message my teacher. Of course, you can do that by email, but you know it can be easy to type an email address in wrong or something like that. If I click the pencil icon right here, I can select which course. So let's 
stick with the example of Mrs. Hill's first grade, and I can now say, who do I want to send that to? And I can click the address book right here. But because I'm a parent observer, I don't have the ability to, to message anyone else in the class other than the teacher. So if I click right here, there's Mrs. Hill. I can send a message, and I can type my message to Mrs. Hill. I also can attach something right here. So if I need to attach something, I can. I could also record an audio or video comment if I wanted to. And then I would click send and I could be, and I could rest assured that Mrs. Hill would get my message that I had sent her. So again, navigating back to the dashboard is that is kind of the hub of all of our activity. This is where you're going to land. This is where you're going to ac access most of the resources from and where you can directly access your students' courses. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, please let me know.